Hey, what up ducks? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at a very, very nostalgic eBay purchase that I recently made for myself. It's one of those memory unlocked, it all came rushing back type situations. I was on eBay and saw this item and bam, it all came back in the form of this. The Bugs Bunny He's 50 Folks magazine from 1990. This is celebrating the 50th birthday of Bugs. And um, I don't remember the exact details of receiving this, but I do remember that it was very special to me. And that is because I cut up every single image from this thing and plastered them all over the walls of my bedroom. And I think these were up on my walls for probably two years. So I literally have this thing memorized. I think out of all magazines and comic books I have that are nostalgic to me, this one probably takes the cake. And so I thought, let's take a look at it because it's really a great magazine. I wanted to show it off, so let's dive into it. One of the coolest things about this magazine is the ads. You've got some really great ones in here and they're all Warner Brothers or Looney Tunes related. There's a Holiday Inn ad here with the gang. It's kids season at Holiday Inn. There's a really cool two page spread of Warner Home Video introducing some new titles. Warner Brother Video was like kind of a big deal in 1990. I remember having at least two VHS tapes. One was Batman 89 that had uh, Daffy and Bugs at the beginning of it trying to sling some merch. We've got some cool Brock's tins here with candy. One's Christmas related, which really speaks to me. Um, we have some Armatron watches with the Looney Tunes characters. Watches were like so big in the 90s. Kids everywhere had to have some kind of cartoon character strapped to their wrists at all times. I know I did. Three cheers for Bugs Bunny on his 50th. It's the man himself uh, with some Cheerios. There's also an ad of a CBS TV one hour special celebrating Bugs 50th birthday. Uh, it's got live stars and celebrities it says. Hollywood celebrates Bugs' 50th birthday. I don't remember this, but it looks really cool. One of my favorite things in the magazine growing up was this animation cell straight out of the upcoming Bugs movie, Box Office Bunny. I did not hang this on the wall, but I know that I loved it. Okay, hands down the best part of this book is the well-wishing and birthday tributes from all the cartoon and comic strip characters of the day. You know I love a good crossover, and this was the first for me. So we've got um, some really cool imagery here. First up, Pogo, which was a really cool comic strip that I loved as a small child. I had Pogo figures in my room. We've got the characters here mingling with the Looney Tunes, which I just think is so great. We've got Dagwood offering uh, Bugs a gold-plated 50 carat sandwich. We've got Garfield himself wishing Bugs a uh, happy birthday. One of my favorites, Snoopy. How could anyone live in a hole and eat carrots for 50 years? You've got Beetle Bailey and Ziggy. And then along the edges of the pages, you've got the other Looney Tunes characters wishing Bugs a happy 50th. The Simpsons get in on the well wishing. Um, this would have been right as they're coming out too, 1990. So this was uh, probably a big deal at the time to have the Simpsons uh, mingling with the Looney Tunes. One that I just absolutely loved was this DC Comics superheroes image here. All right, Bugs, you can wear it, but just for your birthday, says Batman. Kind of reminds me of the uh, McDonald's Warner Brothers, Looney Tunes, DC mashup toys. Here's another great section, Hollywood Agent, where they talk about this guy Dan Romanelli and how he just licensed the shit out of every single Warner Brothers cartoon character. We've got Nintendo games, there are ceramics, clothing, there's a chess set, bracelets, bikes. The magazine also has a write-up on the new Tiny Toons cartoon that was premiering later in the year in September. There's a cool Q&A with Steven Spill himself introduces all the characters their names what they're all about really cool wrapping up we have a two-page spread of Tyson Looney Tunes meals I was more of a hungry man or kid cuisine guy myself so I don't really remember these but I love them and I love how each character has kind of a spin on their meal we've got a uh, Bugs Bunny chicken chunks Yosemite Sam barbecue chicken 
Sylvester fish sticks, and so on. And quite possibly the coolest ad in the magazine is this limited edition porcelain collectible exclusive to this book. It's a That's 50 Folks Bugs Bunny statue hand painted. And that's it folks. I hope you enjoyed looking at the 1990 Bugs Bunny magazine with me today. I'm a little bummed out because I feel like magazines in general are a dying art and we've got all this nostalgia for blockbuster video and vinyl records but how about some uh, magazine love let's uh let's drum some up anyway hope you all have a great week i will see you in the next video bye bye